Here we are with My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 9. So yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And also, let's get to the episode. <sighs> These damn recaps. So we will see how this turns out, right? This could be more interesting than the previous fights because Bakugo is in this. And yeah, he is very strong. So it will be interesting how he does against others, right? <clears throat> because he is very combat experienced, right? I mean, Deku is very strong, but Bakugo is so, more, so much more talented in how... How to fight that he can still beat Deku. <clears throat> but man, I'm still not hooked on the season. I don't even know that I'm very conflicted because since like um halfway through season four, I'm not really hyped for this for my hero academia. That's why after episode 16 of season four, I didn't watch when it came out. So that's like that was 2019. And now we have 2022, uh, 2022, and so three years later, now I finished season four and watched season five, but I'm still not hyped for it after like being almost halfway through season five. And I'm not, and I don't know if I'm even, I'm even, I'm not even really hyped for season six. And I don't know if this season will change my mind that I am hyped for season six. Because I'm not hyped, hyped right now or interested in what's going on right now. I don't know. Maybe I just drop it and watch something else. <laughs> but I feel, uh, I feel bad to drop something just like that. What can she do? I'm very much interested into her. I hate this guy. What a liar. He doesn't like everyone. He doesn't like all for one. <laughs> Underlings.
grenades. What's he planning? Oh, is this a girl? <clears throat> it looked like the pattern on her suit. <clears throat> but what is this ability? Can she maybe split pieces of her body? I guess so. What the fuck? Lizard tail splitter. <coughs> I mean, that has definitely some good uses. If you catch my drift. But how hard is it? Can you just... Is it like, like normal skin and flesh and stuff? Then widespread attacks like a flame wave or something could burn her very easily. <clears throat> but if it's more res more durable, then it's fine, I guess. Jack Mantis. <clears throat> From an anywhere. Dick Blade. Dude, that's a crazy ability. She can infiltrate places pretty easily with that, I guess. She just splits off. Oh, Bakugo with a big fireball. <laughs> Nani? <laughs> That's a big explosion. Okay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Keep working. Find the enemy. Wonder if he can do it. Dude, I hate him so much. Kendo, shut him up. <coughs> Hello.
yep. Dude, she can basically fly. How high can she fly with this? <clears throat> <laughs> what is this? Oh. Oh, welding. I guess this won't keep. Fuck a go. Oh, okay. He helps them. What are those? Oh, amplifiers, basically, I guess. Oh my god, he blows him up. Break his arms. <laughs> oh, is this how it's? Oh no, X catapult, a new move. <laughs> Bakugo has cool moves. <clears throat> One left. Oh. He taped one with the grenade. <laughs> Damn. And Bakugo comes from behind. Surprise, motherfucker. They thought they had him figured out, but nope, they don't. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a bit disappointed. I'm a bit disappointed about her. Um, 
she has a cool quirk, but I feel like it also is kind of lacking, right? It, I feel it has, it has only certain... I feel like it has only certain uses. <laughs> At least this match went by in like one episode, not even half an episode. Unlike the other matches that took two episodes, basically. <laughs> There's the next, right? He has a scouter. <clears throat> I'm interested in the, I'm interested in the Kimono girl too. <clears throat> in her. So they want to try to copy Midoriya's quirk? Did I misread something? Ass. 
I wonder if the others can see Midoriya. If they can see the light flashes around him. Or if, it, or if that is just for the viewer to see. Oh, he has it activated. I guess next episode will also be interesting. Because I can still remember from the trailer that something happened to Midoriya when he was facing Shinsho, I think. Shinsho. And it was with this background going on, so... I guess something interesting will be happen if I remember the trailer correctly. From, I don't know, a year ago or so, or more. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, it went as expected, right? I thought that Bakugo will win, right? Because he is just super good when it comes to like combat. He is not the most sociable guy and not the most team coordinate fighter, right? In this episode, he kind of was, right? Uh, being kind of like the leader and telling everyone what to do and how they should do it. <clears throat> Um, but like, when it comes to like combat, strength, and like tactics and everything, he is very good. I mean, we, I mean, we saw that like over and over again. He has good control of his quirk. He has is very versatile with his quirk. He has so many special moves with his quirk. Now we have X catapult. He has his howitzer and all that stuff. Um, he has these grenades. Um, and he just has crazy mobility and. <clears throat> is just very good at using the mobility and has a lot of strength with it because it's basically explosions <clears throat> so makes sense that they win um but yeah i'm like i said i'm a bit disappointed by the girl of the other class um of her quirk because i like her design and the quirk is cool that she can split off herself in like 50 parts but I feel like it is such limited use, right? In this situation here, all she did was basically make sound to counter a uh, ear girl. I forgot her name. Juro? Juro? I don't know. Um, and that's all she did, basically. She did nothing else. She just made some noise. Um, and, I mean, what else could you do with that quirk, right? I mean, you can definitely use it for stealth. A stealth oper operation right like spl splitting of your eye to check places out or you can split yourself off to go through narrow places and stuff right um but besides that <clears throat> combat wise what could you do can you attack with it really like i said i mean is this is is it just like normal flesh like that it's like soft and stuff and vulnerable so because like I said, maybe you could just do a widespread attack, like a big explosion of fire, and then you just get burned or something. Um, because you have so many pieces flying around, wide-reaching AoE attacks might be very effective against her in that case. Um, so, yeah, I don't know, man. It's like... I feel like it has only such limited use. Definitely not... That much combat oriente uh, oriented from what i've seen here so far and I, like i said i can't really think of anything you could do combat wise 
I mean, maybe if you have tools, maybe you could cut, maybe you could like cut off your arms, right? So that you can use two arms and then maybe take some rope and like rope someone up with it. And so you could maybe do some tricky stuff with it. You could maybe take a gun, cut off your arm base, like, uh, yeah, remove your hand basically and just move your hand with the gun somewhere and just shoot right <laughs> you could do that stuff maybe i don't know so maybe she can do some stuff with it but i mean that requires tools right ropes guns knives swords whatever it's not just her quirk like her quirk itself seems like it's only like for certain uses more like stealth stealth operations i would say and i mean otherwise we have the blade lizard thingy can make blades out of any part of his body blade dick cool. and then we have the uh, welder guy I think we saw him already right in, in, a, in a season before but I couldn't really remember him because I think it was only like for a short moment um, and then yeah the glue guy <clears throh> and that's basically it so yeah nothing much to say to it I would say so I would say let's get to the next episode More recap. Why is she always standing like this? Okay, let's see what we get. Intro. Of course. <coughs> okay, oh, the prison again. All for one. Okay.
maybe <coughs> maybe it's about the power that has to be accumulated to have enough to beat one all for one You suck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we will see how that turns out. Something flashy. I mean, you are all, you are already flashing. <laughs> Telekinesis? All the guys? What's in his hand? I mean, this is dangerous because if Shinjo does the voice of one of his teammates and they are far away, then he could mistake it for them. <clears throat> Two at the same time, wasn't it one before? Did he improve somewhat? A little bit. <laughs> right? Let's see him scream like a girl. Oh. They, they are tracking that stuff. It's her ability, I guess? Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. So nothing super heavy.
Interesting. Okay. Interesting. The combination. Interesting. That's pretty interesting. The combination of these three abilities. Getting him to talk. Oh, is he getting overboard? Oh, <laughs> fuck him up. Destroy him. You should rather go away. Can Shinsho, can Shinsho maybe brainwash him to control him? To calm it down? What the fuck, dude? That's a wide, wide range attack. <laughs> That's a wide range attack. Holy shit. Now he doesn't even, he doesn't have to look out for not getting hurt and use too much of, of one, but also of this power now that this isn't going to get out of control. <clears throat> Is Izawa coming in and he raises his quirk? Would be funny if he tries and he can't. <laughs> you can't erase this shit, bitch.
he's just in shock. Like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, just say, hey, Deku, say something if you want to, to stop. And Deku says, hell yeah. Oh, here we go again. Is it his quirk? <clears throat> Yes, he does. <laughs> oh, we saw another one, I think. <clears throat> no. It indeed is. Wide range. Indeed it has, especially with All Might. All right. He's the final one. At least that's what it sounds like. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. 
Motherfucker, we have a moment here. <laughs> yeah, fuck him up. <clears throat> Will he use the quirk maybe now again? That would be cool. But probably not. Because he's not used to it. It becomes a brawl now. <laughs> Everyone is here. Or imagine he uses it and captures everyone at once. That would be cool. Oh, he tried to do the either or thing. Stand by. And it's the end. Ah! Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I mean, I knew about it. I said it. I knew about that. I think before... Did we know before this that what the quirk was of all for one's brother? That he could store energy, basically? I don't know if we know that, but... Like I said, I knew that already, and I knew about it that Deku can have multiple quirks from the predecessors. And so yeah, this is the first quirk he gets. Black Whip. Pretty cool quirk. I mean, from the predecessor, if that's what he did with his hand, if that was like the extent of it, pretty small, right? I guess it's, it's not. It was just... For sure, right? Um, but it definitely wasn't as big as what Deku can do here right now, I guess. Because Deku, Deku went... I don't know. I mean, it's it would be interesting to know. Did Deku go all out here and basically use that basically 100%? Or was it just with the power of 20%? <laughs> Imagine that shit. Five times stronger. Um, I guess it was full power, maybe? I don't know. Um, but yeah. That's actually a good quirk with this strength. I mean, if it's like way weaker than this, then it still might be a decent quirk maybe to capture people. But yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to say how good or bad it would be because <clears throat> we don't know how strong it was when the predecessor had it, right? But with Deku right now, the range it has and the impact it can do, it seems very strong, <clears throat> like impact-wise and big ass range dude imagine what he, he can do with it can he <clears throat> can he maybe use it like spider-man to swing with it around like attach it to like walls and shit and just swing himself pull himself that would be dope um and i mean with the range and how many ropes or whips he can make he could capture a lot of people at once <laughs> with that range and all that stuff dude that's pretty crazy but like i said i mean i think it would be cool if he just uses a quirk now and captures all of them <laughs> instantly if he has some control over it i mean do i think it will happen probably not because he just got it he doesn't know exactly how it works um, I guess, and I guess even if he knew how to use it right now, I mean, I guess you get a feeling for it, right? Now that it activated once, and he knows what it is, I guess he can activate it now if he wants to, I guess. Um, because, I mean, that's how quirks work, right? You get it, and then at some point you just use it, by coincidence and then I guess you get feel for it 
and so maybe he can activate now but i guess he won't because it might he might think it's too dangerous because he just got it he can't he probably can't control it well um but i think it would be cool if he could use it now and capture everyone that would be pretty dope that would be a dope moment but yeah like i said i think it won't happen and i mean <clears throat> otherwise um yeah not much else right i mean shinzo's ability oh my i mean we saw all for one and he could hear his brother uh, brother's voice i guess because it happens to midoriya right so i guess all for one can sense that somehow maybe i guess it was interesting and i mean otherwise um the dynamic between the class b team was pretty good like the, those three together worked pretty well <clears throat> one can move the objects there's another person another person can make them smaller and expand it if they want to and the third person can make it impact twice that's a pretty big combo i would say <clears throat> what i oh no i wanted to say what i think is a bit crazy is that she can control the objects that are close to her and while she's doing that she also controls the quirk on the asshole but i mean he copied it which is also still interesting because aren't four minutes already up he seems to have it for a long time and he can still use it i mean that's anime minutes right one minute is like 10 minutes or 20 minutes but yeah i mean otherwise i guess that's basically it right so i mean what i could still say is like it seems like the vestiges will come one after another every time deku gets a new ability unlocked basically and they will shortly explain it maybe to him and then they just fade away I guess is how it goes <clears throat> which makes me interested because when they fade away now what happens if Deku gives uh, gives all for uh, one for all to someone else are they just gone or do they get restored for the next person <laughs> like it's some I mean I would imagine that they are just gone after this right because it seems like that Deku is supposed to be the final one, the last one that probably is supposed to bring an end to all for one. So I guess what they meant with um, it's not yet time is probably that the brother or some, I guess the brother um, had like a rough estimate for like we need this many people and have to accumulate this much power to be strong enough to beat my brother. So. Yeah, and here we are now with Deku. We have enough power now. Now we just next now we just need to get good and use it. And then we can beat him. Maybe I don't know. But yeah, I mean, definitely interesting this part with this uh power. Makes me interested if if when we see the next one pop up. I mean there is so much potential, right? I mean, he is not getting one from All for One, uh, from uh, All Might, because he was quirkless. Um, then Deku himself was quirkless, as far as we know. Then he has now the tapes. What else could it be? I mean, at this point, it's. I guess that's. I mean, you. I guess you can speculate, and if you are lucky, you maybe get a guess right. But I guess you can't really know or theorize what it could be because it could just be the most random shit ever right so yeah will be interesting what the next one will be and when we will see it see it if we will see it i don't know will be interesting but i think that's it so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye